working and calibration of pH meter. Hello guys, today we are going to learn about the working of a pH meter. Okay, so pH meter is a scientific instrument that measures the hydrogen ion activity in a water-based solution indicating its acidity or alkalinity that is expressed as a pH. And basically pH meter is like a voltmeter. Okay, so when a pH probe is placed into a solution, so a millivolt potential is generated in response to the hydrogen ion concentration. So the theoretical voltage that can be determined by the Nernst equation. Okay, so theoretically at 25 degree C, the pH 7 will generate 0 millivolt and there will be a change of around 59.16 millivolt for each unit. Or in other words, we can say that pH can be measured by measuring the voltage produced between two special electrodes immersed in the liquid solution. So one electrode is made of a special glass, so it's called the measurement electrode. Also, you can see in the diagram there is an electrode. So, electrode can be thought of as a, of as a battery with, with a voltage that varies with the pH of the measure solution. So, the pH probe is a hydrogen ion sensitive glass bulb with a mini volt output that varies with the change in the relative hydrogen ion concentration inside and outside of the bulb. Okay, so technically they, they are not the same a pH meter probe or you can say or a pH meter. However, they cannot function without one another. A pH meter consists of three parts with one is a pH probe, you can see in the diagram and then we have a reference pH electrode and the pH meter itself. So it is the electrode inside a pH probe that measures the pH of the solutions. To measure the pH of solution, the electrodes are used as probes which are dipped into the test solution and normally we dip in the electrolyte. We cannot dip our probe, uh, I mean uh, into the uh, deionized water or distilled water that will render the uh, probe useless, okay. And, and hell, they are sufficiently long for the hydrogen ions in the test solution to equ equilibrate with the ions on the surface of the bulb on the glass electrode. And this I mean the solution provides a stable pH measurement and the working principle behind the pH meter is potentiometry. This is the measurement of a solution's electric potential voltage okay and also it depends on uh, what kind of solutions we are going to dip the probe in. If it is acid solutions, uh, if, it, if, if it, 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 it will efficiently conduct an electric current because of the positive hydrogen ions. Now for calibrating the pH meter normally we use a buffer okay and uh, for using the we all know what is a buffer so normally we use a three point meet, meet pH meter calibration the three point basically means uh, the mid pH the low pH and the high pH okay and the most common buffer solutions are normally uh, neutral acidic is 4 neutral for 7 and basic 10 so normally we have to use the three point calibration and this is very very important before measuring the uh, pH of a unknown solution. So in our previous videos we also saw I mean a different kind of a pH meter. Here we are going to see a different brand which is a hatch okay. So if you can see at the back we have a lot of inlets okay from where we can add the different kind of probes okay. For now this is attached to a pH meter probe. So what we have to do first of all, we have to switch on the, the pH meter. So we can see the uh, meter has started. Okay. Now it says it's connected to a probe. Now you can see only the, I mean, uh, the pH meter window is appearing. So what we have to do to first of all, to make sure our pH meter is working fine or not. First of all, we have to calibrate. So we'll press the calibrate button. So you can see we have uh, three buffers. Okay, we already know what is a buffer. Okay, so buffer is a solution of a weak acid, strong base, strong acid, weak base, and it does not resist a change in the pH. Okay, and uh, now what we need to do, this is a three point calibration. Okay, so first of all, we will, we will open the probe here gently. Okay, this is our probe. Now we're going to Say read, press, so 
so now what we are going to do we are going to say read so first of all it will read the bh4 buffer so you can see here we also need to shake our solution the ideal way is to add a bead and a stirrer and then shake our solution and then read now we will press for the second buffer which is 7 now for the third buffer which is 10 h10 yes, buffer Now it says that the calibration passed. Now we will be. It says that reread any buffer or push done to review and store results. So if you see here, uh, the slope is minus fifty six point five three millivolt per pH, which is ninety six percent, and the R square is zero point nine nine eight, and the offset value is minus nine point seven millivolt. And you can see at pH four, if you see this is the potential difference of light, which is one fifty nine point eight millivolt. And simultaneously for 7 it's minus and then it's minus okay and the uh, this is the temperature correction reading okay now we will store okay now uh, this is our uh, this buffer is treated as unknown so for unknown the buffer 10 solution it shows the 10.01 which is right so our ph meter is now calibrated now we can take the I'm reading for a node or known samples.